Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this 3 minute video I'll show you how to create this simple animation using SketchUp and V-Ray. So let's get right into it. Here we have our model and the first thing we need to do is to set our scenes. So set a view you like and create a scene by clicking on this plus button right here or by right clicking on one of these tabs up here and select add scene. You can create as much scenes as you like. Once you're done in the window menu select model info and in the animation section enable scene transition and set the time in seconds for the duration of the transition between each scene. Let's go with 3 seconds for this example. To avoid still frames set the scene delay to 0. Ok so now SketchUp takes exactly 3 seconds to navigate from one scene to another. And it's time to open the V-Ray asset editor. Here, under the settings tab, enable the animation checkbox and I also enable motion blur here. Then go under render output, set your resolution here, enable save image and choose a path for the folder where you want V-Ray to save your frames. Now you just need to render all the frames by clicking on this render button. V-Ray will render and save all your images one by one in the folder you've chosen. Depending on the complexity of your model and the power of your PC, this rendering process can last anywhere from just a couple of minutes to even a couple of days. That is obviously not the case with our example, but I'm still gonna speed up this a bit until the rendering is done. And we're back and all our frames are ready to be transformed into a moving picture. There are a lot of video editing software out there that can do this job for us, but we're going to use the simplest one of them all. It's a little program that is actually part of the Photos app that comes pre-installed with Windows. So just click here and start typing VD, here it is, Video Editor, open it. Now click on New Video Project, give it a name, let's call it Taj Mahal. Now just drag and drop all your frames here into the project library. Now drag them from the project library to the timeline down here. Then click on the first one, scroll all the way to the right, press and hold the shift key on the keyboard and click on the last one to select them all. Now set the duration to each frame to let's see 30 frames per second means that one frame should last somewhere around 0.03 seconds. Push enter to confirm. You can preview the video here. If you're happy with the final result, click here to export the animation. Select the quality and click export. That's it, you're done. Well, okay, that is it for this video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to follow my Twitch channel if you want to participate now and then in a SketchUp modeling stream with Q&A. You'll find the link in the description. I'll start to stream once a week as soon as we reach enough followers. Anyway, I want to thank you all for supporting this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.